Well, hello, and now we're on day two of this week's journey in 1 John chapter 3 in Greek. So we're on 1 John 3, 8. Go ahead and see if you can translate this verse. And here's my translation. The one who practices sin, the one who does sin, is from the devil. Because from the beginning, the devil sins. For this reason, the Son of God was manifested, or the Son of God appeared, in order that he might destroy the works of the devil. How'd you do? And now to do that in slow motion, let's break it on down. So, I hope this, again, every day I say the same thing. I hope you can do this expression. The one who does, the one who practices. This is a participle. It's nominative masculine singular. The article never lies. It's present and active participle. Um, so if poion was just by itself, you might translate it doing or practicing. But with the word the on it, it's the, the practicing man or the practicing one. And then you go to stage two and you use Ken's rule. If the participle has the article, use who if it's a man or woman, or that if it's not. So the one who practices. And again, you should kind of get a common sense for this construction. The one who practices sin from the devil is. This is very interesting. Um, John's way of thinking seems to assume that you behave like your source. So if you're of the devil, if you're a child of the devil, then you sin. If you're a child of God, you don't sin. Very interesting. So because, causal clause, from the beginning, there's no the there, but we need it in English. So it's never, it's not a good translation if it's bad English. This it actually, it's surprising, but it takes Greek students sometimes a little, they don't get this. It's not a good translation if you translate it word for word and it's bad English. So to translate it because from beginning the devil sins, that's a bad translation. Why? Because it's bad English. <laughs> it's just think about it, okay? Just think about it. Okay, so the one who practices sin is from the devil because from the beginning the devil sins. Unto this, or for this reason, the Son of God was manifested. And I've told you before, was manifested could also be translated appeared. Okay? Latin does the same thing, by the way, with this particular kind of, of, of word and, and form. Okay. In order, there's a purpose clause here. In order that he might destroy, in order that, that is, the Son of God might destroy the works, neuter plural alpha, bingo, of the devil. Okay? By the way, modern Greeks freak out whenever I say Luo can mean destroy. I mean, it's, it's funny. I have some YouTube videos with tons of comments where modern Greeks say, it doesn't mean destroy. It means loose. You know, you, you idiot, you American idiot. Okay. I know biblical Greek. And I suspect that these modern Greeks who think I'm wrong probably didn't get great grades in their classical Greek or they probably never even taken a, a course on the New Testament in Greek. Here, by the way, is a lovely illustration that I actually know what I'm talking about. In order that he might destroy, case made. Okay, the works of the devil. Okay, now to look at the grammar a little bit. Uh, again, we've done this over and over again. I hope you can do it with your eyes closed, um, but you have to look at the word first, obviously. But this is, this is a, a participle. There are three uses of a participle. They can be used adverbially, where they're telling you some circumstances of a verb. They can be used paraphrastically, like was teaching, is teaching, with a to be verb. Or they can be used adjectivally. And if it has the article, it is definitely being used adjectivally. Because it's talking about, it's, it's describing something like the man who is doing or who is practicing. So, but the, the word man isn't there, so it's substantive. So it's an adjectival participle being used substantively, and it's nominative masculine singular, present active participle. 
from poyao, the one practicing or the one who practices sin is of the devil. Because, causal clause, the devil sins from the beginning. Now, hamartan a here is a present active indicative third person singular from hamartano. It's a easy peasy chapter two kind of uh, verb. Um, okay, uh, to continue. For this reason, which is kind of a, uh, did you know that, that the cases, like the accusative case here, and the preposition clarifies it, they can have nuances, case nuances. So tuto is accusative, and it's an accusative of cause for this reason, because of this. Um, anyway, did you know cases can have nuances too? That's intermediate Greek stuff. Hopefully you can parse this. We've seen it several times in 1 John. Theta eta tells me, aorist passive. And the augment on the front confirms that it's aorist and also that it's indicative. So fauna rho is kind of the core of the word. So it's aorist passive indicative. Um, it goes thane, theis, thay. So this is third person singular from fauna rho. And the, the, uh, the vowel at the end of the contract verb, the vowel here, has lengthened to an omega before adding the tense suffix. Okay, henna is a purpose clause uh, in order that, in this case, and the henna, with henna in the New Testament, and it's always, subjunctive is coming, subjunctive is coming. And so sure enough, this is a subjunctive. The o a s a, the ep, what is an epsilon iota in the indicative has been fried into the subjunctive. The epsilon gets fried into an eta, and then the the iota hangs on as a scrub, subscript for dear life. Ah! So it is third person singular. It is subjunctive, active subjunctive. Now, that's from Luo. Now, what does this sigma indicate? When the indicative mood, sigma means future. But in the subjunctive mood, sigma means uh, eris. Okay. So this is an aorist active subjunctive, third singular from Luo. Okay. Well, we've been in John, First John, for a long time now, um, so I think I'm just going to kind of casually read the Greek, um, and uh, you, uh, rather than pause all the time, um, and kind of read it somewhat naturally. Maybe not at normal speed, but maybe just a tad slower. So here we go. Hopoyon tein hamartian ek tu diabolo a diabolu estin. Hoti apar case, ho diabolos hamartane. Ace tuto efanarothe, ho huios tu theu. Hina luce ta erga tu diabolu. Okay, and this has been 1 John 3 8.